Hello everyone and welcome back to our Let's Play as Macedonia here in Civilization 6. Alright, so let's take a look. We still have the onslaught of swordsmen. <laughs> Just never ending. Uh, up here we're working on a water mill because we want to take advantage of the fact that we have two improved rice over here. That should give this city some pretty nice growth. Let's see, we did hook up the other luxury item. If you recall, so we've got the mercury and the coca up there. This is... I mean, obviously this is our best city right now in terms of development because, well, it isn't constantly under war, right? It's not constantly under siege, so they can actually build stuff, so go figure. Over here I'm working on a trader, which some some folks, I think, questioned the last episode. They're like, why are you building a trader? You're at war. Well, because if we don't push forward with some kind of development, I mean, look at our economy, right? We badly need some trade. So that's the reason why. Plus, we need roads. That's the other big thing, right? Remember in Civ 6, unlike Civ 5, roads were built by trade routes, as they were in the ancient world, which makes sense. All right, so let's see. Do we have anything else to do this turn? I don't think so. What did you build? Uh, Colossus, okay. okay. You're the furthest back, so you take your shot. There we go. Take that shot. We'll move this archer back into the city next turn. Okay, run that guy down. We are gathering great general points, like... Are we anywhere close? Not really. <laughs> no, not really. No, honestly, no. Oh man, that's one thing about playing on Deity. You can forget about you can forget, you can forget about building wonders yourself. Actually, that's pretty much on most difficulties, other than like the really like beginner level stuff. You just because you can't really spend the time doing it. But um, so you have to look to your competitors, the AIs and what have you, and going, "Hey, thanks for building that wonder for me. I'll, I will I will take that wonder from you at some future point, right?" So wonders, not so much. Um... <laughs> And I think to some degree, uh, you have to look at everything that way. Cities too, really. But especially the wonders. Like you can't you can't build it yourself. Okay, let's see. Um We'll put you in the city. We'll have you come here. You can go there. We'll bring our heavy horsemen down this side, I guess. Yeah, that'll work. Well, unless we can... You're not in range. Or we've got obscured line of sight. Okay, so you fortify. You slip back into the city. You take your promotion. Hey, what do you know? More swordsmen showed up. What? Madness. Come to me, barbarians. Come to me! That's right! Okay. Fortify. Trade route. Um... Maybe with ourself initially, just to build the road? Yeah.
Let's get a monument going over there. Everything has its limit. Iron ore cannot be educated into gold. Okay, heal up. Move up. <laughs> okay. We're not gonna get, like, overzealous, though, here. We're gonna... Try not to, anyway. Matter of fact... We step over there and fortify. We're ten turns away from crossbowmen too, so that that'll help. We could at least upgrade a few of them. We'll put us on the tame tame. Put us on the tame. <laughs> put us on the same. We're gonna go with an S at the beginning of that word. We're gonna put us on the same uh, tech tier, so... Obviously that would help, right? Can you grab a granary? Check up here. Or turns for the water mill. Oh, we could upgrade you to that. Uh, yeah. All right, let's do it. That's the swordsman replacement. Yeah, I mean it's pretty nice. Holy moly, that was a ridiculous amount of stuff down there. Did you see that? Oh, wow, okay. You know, when when they said they were tuning the AI a bit here for the spring update, it's like, come on. I'm okay with the challenge, but this is ridiculous. Okay, well, so much for that going on the offense against the Barbarians. Whoa. Yeah, we'll be staying back here, definitely, until we get Frostbowman. For that matter, you back up and heal. I don't want you anywhere near that front line again. Wow. Construction advanced considerably. Water mill's done. Good.
Industrial zone or commercial hub? Commercial hub. We really need some money. Like, badly. Okay. No, I'm not gonna follow you this time. You're trying to sucker me, AI. You're trying to sucker me, because you're being all tricksy. Hey, granaries. Granaries done. the outer defenses. Choose a Pathion. Okay. Religious settlements is always good. We have enough of this to be worthwhile? Uh, not really, I don't think. Plus one culture from pastures? That's not too bad. I think we'll just go for religious settlements for border expansion rate. Okay, almost done with our monument. Working on that commercial hub. I'd imagine the whole world is oh, one big machine. There we go. Machines never come with Now we can't afford to upgrade anything yet. <laughs> but that's why we're doing that commercial hub. Go for a siege tower. Pikemen. We could go for knights also, or we could go for nighter, just to see the resource on the map. Yeah, gunpowder requires niter. Yeah. Hmm. Or do we go towards university in hopes by the time that the research is done, which is going to take a long time to get to that, we'd actually be in a position to build them? 
No, I don't think so. I think we start with construction, and then we'll go from there. How long does it take you to build a trader? 14 turns, but we can't until we've got an open slot. Okay, so, alright, we gotta wait. Guess you could hard build a crossbowman. Actually, probably better for you to build an actual builder and get some improvements, right? Invincibility lies in the defense. The possibility of victory in the attack. Okay, let's change policies. Plus six, plus six city strength, plus five range strength from the city. For now, that makes sense. When we're in a position to go attack them, we can change the policy out. Let's get conscription as our wild card policy. That'll improve our economy. Yeah, look at that. Look at the swing that made, right? Just by lowering our maintenance costs. Now gain plus one food for each adjacent farm improvement. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, don't worry, barbarians. There will be crossbow... crossbowmen coming to a world near you soon. Mm-hmm. Uh, nope, 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 not gonna let you bait me. Which they actually appear to try to do now, which is kind of funny. And by funny, I mean, I hate them. <laughs> no, no, it's good, it's good. But I haven't been able to, you know, explore really very much at all. I've only met one of the AIs. I mean, oh man, it's going to be a whole new world once we finally get rid of these barbarians or at least, you know, kind of push the threat off a bit. Well, we have been able to farm experience off of this. I think I've said that a few times, so I guess we got that going for us. Create with the heart, build with the mind. Hmm. 
Maybe the other, maybe the other players, maybe the other empires, maybe they're having just as many problems with the barbarians. If that's the case, then I'm okay with it. But if they're like, you know, the barbarians are like pretty much leaving them alone or whatever, that would be annoying. Yeah, it needs to be, we need to equally be getting our faces smashed by the barbarians for it to be at least somewhat fair, right? <laughs> I can, I can accept that. I can accept that. How much is the upgrade? How much are you? Come on. How much are you? 305? Where's that policy that allows for cheap upgrades? There it is. Mercenaries. So we'd have to wait 15... Yeah, well, we're not going to do that. I was going to say, we're not going to wait 15 turns. If we can afford to do an upgrade, we'll end up doing it. In the meantime, we'll just have to hard build some of them. The crossbowmen, I mean. What are, you, what are you doing over there? Hmm? What are you doing? You going towards... You going towards Dion? No, no. Don't you do it. Don't you do it! How many more turns? Eight turns for our commerce hub. Okay. Sure. Finish the campus repair. Yeah. All right. Send envoy right there. Oh, you're you're unfriendly now? Why? Well, we're only t let's declare friendship. Come on, let's be pals. Oh, come on now. What if we make some kind of deal? Oh, you've got two sources of niter. Oh, okay. Aren't you fancy? And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cities. Well, okay. Things are really looking up for us then. <laughs> So he's been back here. This this has happened a couple different times to me where I'll spawn like where I am, where it's sort of limited in where I can grow, but then I'll have a neighboring AI that essentially has no challenge. And so he's just been able to build whatever he wants over here. Wow, that must be nice. Now, having said that, we've got a city state in between us. I can build a fortified defensive line here because this is relatively narrow. So I think until we get into later stages of the game, if things get really bad with them, I'm still okay to defend myself, but... Yep. This is pretty much what happens. At least that's been my experience. I'm curious for those of you that, that play Civ 6 and play it on higher difficulties, particularly on a map like this, Fractal, or even like Island Plates, do you have this happen where you have an AI that's sort of isolated and gets to just build with absolutely no one to contest them? Because that's been my experience. Now, again, I'm not a vastly experienced Civ 6 player yet, but that has been my experience thus far. Do, do, do. Okay, let's see. Man, this unique unit looks really cool. Get rid of that.
All right, so we'll get the campus back up. Then we'll start building probably a crossbowman. I think for now, we have enough defenses, so... Well, it's it seems to be the case. How long would it take you to hard build a crossbowman? 37 turns. Wow. Whew. You can get oh, you can get one of the heavy cat get the heavy cab in 20 turns? Really? Well, that's not too bad. Alright, well, let's do that then. Alright, folks, well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider hitting that thumbs up. Also, if you have any ideas about how <laughs> we're gonna deal with this long term. Uh, Greece, let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Mal, and I will see you later.